In this tutorial, we will be looking at nets of three-dimensional objects. When you think of a net, you might think of the type used by fishermen to catch fish. But, in geometry, a net has a very different meaning and function. You can think of a net as the two-dimensional object that you get from unfolding a three-dimensional shape. For instance, if you took a box, a three-dimensional object, and cut down the corners, you'd have a flat, or two-dimensional, net. The resulting flat cardboard on the floor is the net. In the same way, if you took a can, another three-dimensional object, and cut the top and bottom off, and cut down the side, you'd have a flat, or two-dimensional, net. The resulting flattened can would be the net. Of course, with some tape and some glue, we can take our net and rebuild the original three-dimensional shape. Thus, a net is also a two-dimensional object that can be folded to make a three-dimensional shape. To make a net of a 3D object, there are three simple steps. Step 1. Count the number of faces on the 3D object. For example, let's count the faces on this cube. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. There are 6 faces. Step 2. Determine the shape of each face on the object. As you can see, each face on this cube is a square. So, we have six square faces. Step 3. Imagine unfolding the shape. Arrange the faces so that they would fold into the 3D shape that we started with. We can unfold our cube to make the net. Notice the six square faces that we counted on the cube before we unfolded it. There are multiple different possible nets for one shape. Here are some other nets we could have created for our cube. Notice how they all have the same six square faces, just in different arrangements. Let's do another example. This time, we will look at a triangular prism. We will use the exact same steps as before. Step 1. Count the number of faces on the object. Here, we see 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 faces. Step 2. Determine the shape of each face on the object. We see 3 rectangles and 2 triangles. Step 3. Imagine unfolding the shape and arrange the faces so that they would fold into the 3D shape that we want. You can pause the video here and try this on your own. We arranged the three rectangles so that they would fold to match the edges of the triangles. Other possible nets include these. In this tutorial, we learned about nets. A net is the two-dimensional shape that can be folded to make a 3D object. We found that there are three steps to building a net. Step 1. Count the number of faces on the 3D object. Step 2. Determine the shape of each face on the object. And lastly, step 3. Imagine unfolding the shape and arrange the faces accordingly.